Hi, I'm Kyra. Hi, I'm Emily. Hi, my name is Miriam. And I'm a fashion graduate from Kingston University. The future of fashion is us. The future of fashion is the new generation. The future of fashion is breaking boundaries. I think everyone is much more conscious, considered. Just breaking gender norms of the fluidity of clothing. Even questioning what's the future, I think we are the ones who question it and we are the ones who contribute towards the future. So my collection, I have specialised in menswear. So a lot of my collection is focused on boxing culture and fighting culture. I looked at a lot of technical fabrics and the idea of the difference between um, protection and vulnerability. Really looking at exposing areas that should be protected and also covering up areas that are quite vulnerable. My collection is about combining tailoring and lingerie. So it's called Men in Lingerie but in French. I took a lot of inspiration from the tailoring that I've been around growing up. I wanted to sort of combine the masculinity and the oversized and boxiness of the shapes that I would try on when I was little with the more fitted silhouettes that you'd find in lingerie. For the inspiration of my collection I've been looking back at my ethnical background and cultural heritage of Kyrgyz people and Central Asian people and as it all, especially during the beginning of the 20th century when the nomadic lifestyle was still in practice. I think uh, was more inspired by the idea of the nomads and as a whole uh, and the representation that it was coming with. When people are wearing my clothes I really want them to feel quite comfortable. A lot of my clothing because it was based on sportswear it's got a lot of draw cords, toggles, elasticated waistbands. I wanted people to feel quite included so whereas I can wear some of my trousers and jackets for example but so could anybody else because everything is oversized. I want people to feel, I'd say, confident, quite sexy, I'd say, because my collection is obviously based on lingerie, but also have that sort of masculine feel as well, so quite authoritative, even though you are wearing more like fitted, I guess, revealing pieces. Coming even from the name of my collection, which I call like Name My Land, Jer, the Jer translates in Kyrgyz as land. So I guess for the, as uh, coming back to the idea of nomads, is, uh, the nomads are people who, no matter where they are, they will kind of they are able to build their own house and able to call this land a home. I was trying to bring this feeling of comfort, feeling of safety, feeling of home. I'm really lucky to say that I have a great creative community, especially growing up around my grandmother who did dressmaking her whole life as well as a lot of family and friends that I have in creative spaces such as dance, music and art. So I would say it's nice to be able to create something that doesn't only resonate with the fashion industry but also with other creative spaces. When I came here my fashion perspective completely changed. Being all the different cultures in here it was also like a fantastic experience for me as well. So yeah it's people everywhere what they were, how they were, it, uh, why they were, it, why they buy the clothes that they wear. I would say what I find most challenging about being in the design industry is just finding my voice and trying to add something to the creative space that exists but also saying something different. I feel like uni especially has helped me with the fast-paced nature of the fashion industry but there are always things that I'm learning and different ways of doing things. I think what excites me about where the industry could go in the next 10 years is seeing the people that I have studied alongside for the past five years including my foundation because I've seen everybody that is very creative that's coming through to the industry and I think it's really exciting to kind of be in a community where my friends are all doing the same thing and seeing where everybody's going in the industry. Because fashion is like so tightly close to the, 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 the dynamic of the world. For some people it's just closest but I feel like it's, a, it's like a representation of the whole like a society within a certain timeline and uh, everything is just so tied together so anything that happens in the world it gets represented or uh, reinterpreted. I feel like within the fashion industry as they collaborate a lot more with universities now we get opportunities that way so we would get briefed on projects and I feel like that's created a really good positive transition into the industry because we have a mix of like the processes and practices we're used to day to day on campus as well as what the industry expects of us. I would say a lot more brands and companies um, are trying to provide a lot more opportunities and platforms for graduates such as Fennec. 
I think that a lot of people are trying to really kind of help graduates get their work out there and be seen. I mean, I have to start by saying that I've never expected just to even end up here, you know, like having this opportunity to talk. It's a lot. There's a lot of things. Uh, it's a lot of support. I'm proud of myself, but I'm also very grateful, you know, getting all this um, attention uh, towards the graduates uh, is also, I find it very important. Um, it kind of gives you hope that everything's going to be alright in the future as well.